Today, the visual classification of objects can be done with a high accuracy with CNN models, which are pre-trained for thousands of objects. This is a red ball. This is a yellow banana. This is a green pepper. But sometimes vision is not available for different reasons, so that other sensors are needed to process. We present a classification system containing a Nico robot with touch sensors in the hands and different neural network architectures for the processing of the sensor data. The 16 objects vary in size, form and softness. Nico squeezes the objects in 52 steps, resulting in 52 measurements containing the position of index fingers and thumb, the current to move thumb and index fingers and the touch sensor values giving a vector of the force on it. Hello, I am the Nico robot. I am getting prepared. I can determine which object is in my hand just by squeezing it a little bit. Please put one of the objects in my hand. Please. Okay, I will squeeze this object now. Keep your fingers away. Let me think about it. I will first ask my CNN classifier. I am very sure what the squeezed object is. It really feels like the red ball. We evaluated different neural network architectures. A CNN which result is presented here. Do you want me to ask a my MLP classifier as well? Uh, yes, please. Then let me think again. I'm not so sure. But this feels a bit like the grapes, or a carrot, or maybe even the purple duck. And a MLP architecture which uses only the last of 52 measurements and has therefore a lower accuracy rate than the CNN and the LSTM architectures. We optimized the architecture's parameters with Hyperopt, resulting for the CNN in an architecture of 160 filters with a 7x4 size followed by a flattened layer and a dense layer of 192 before the output layer with 16 units. Okay, let me try another one. Yeah, please. Please put one of the objects in my hand. Please. Okay, I will squeeze this object now. Keep your fingers away. Let me think about it. I will first ask my CNN classifier. I am not so sure. But this feels a bit like the yellow dice, or the purple duck, or maybe even the grapes. With this model we got an accuracy of about 67%. We optimized and compared the performance of a CNN, an LSTM and a MLP architecture and get the best results on our test set with the CNN architecture. Let me think about it. I will first ask my CNN classifier. I am not so sure, but this feels a bit like a soft banana, or a heavy banana, or maybe even the purple duck. Do you want me to ask a my MLP classifier as well? Uh, yes, please. Then let me think again. I am very sure what the squeezed object is. It really feels like a soft banana. With an accuracy of 67% for the CNN and 60% for the LSTM architecture and 53% for the MLP architecture using only one time frame of 52.